How do you segue into a story when asked a question? Especially when the question is about concepts that could be abstract, like what's your outlook? What's your ideology? And how do you do that by sharing a personal insight? Welcome back to my Thursday video series where I share examples for you to use at work to make your messaging sticky. I came across this in an interview with Mauro Porcini, PepsiCo's first chief design officer, where he talks about his book, The Human Side of Innovation, The Power of People in Love with People. He was asked in that interview, what are some of the milestones that changed your outlook on innovation? And Moro says, one of my first aha moments, one of the first moments when I realized what innovation really was, was when I met Claudio Cicchetto. He is an Italian celebrity from the music world. He's a producer, singer, and DJ. And Moro says that in the US, that would be the equivalent of meeting Jay-Z, just to name one example. Moro was about 25 or 26 when he decided to create a company to explore the digital world that was just starting up. It was a dream job for him. And since he was coming from the periphery of Milan, a town, as he says, was with zero connections. Moro says, I had a humble family growing up. There were four of us and my brother, my parents and I used to sleep in one bedroom. And here we were creating this amazing company with these big celebrities in the city center of Milan. And I remember something that changed my life. Claudio Cicchetto would never ever in his life use the word innovation. Claudio would not be able to go into a boardroom in front of a CEO of a company and explain what innovation is. And yet he's one of the most greatest innovators that I've ever met in my life in terms of what he was doing in the world of music. And Moro says, Claudio would practice innovation every single day, every hour of the day without even using the word innovation. And he shares an example. In 2022, Claudio was organizing a big concert in Milan's San Siro Stadium the big stadium in Milan for one of the bands he produces. The band is very famous and they've done many concerts in that stadium over the years. Instead of thinking, I've got to do a concert with the greatest songs of this band, he thought, how can you innovate the way in which we do this concert? He came up with this idea of having karaoke with giant screens so that everybody could sing because the most famous songs of this group are very trendy in karaoke in Italy. So here was a famous band that was going to do a great concert and Claudio was thinking, how can I change the game here? And Moro says that he taught me to be an innovator without ever talking about innovation. And in his books, Moro calls him, calls Claudio a mentor by osmosis and says that many Italian celebrities today in the world of music were created by him. And when he says created, he means that he could see the potential in people that they could not even see in themselves. What a powerful example to anchor his outlook about innovation. Now, where at work would you use this example? Do write in the comments and let me know. I'd love to hear from you.